you do your best for yourself and you create good karma, then you're walking your spiritual pathway. You do not have to worry that someone's ticking your list and going, good girl, good girl, 5 out of 10, 4 out of 10, all the rest. That's happened all the way. Keep going. Somebody who knows what they're doing chooses our spirit guides. They're uh, very much, in some ways, you could be drawn to people upon the earth already who you feel connected. You know, might have never met them before, but you feel that level of attunement. Your spirit guides who are, are with you now have that level of attunement with you now, so they're done great against you. You don't go, oh, it's not them again, is it? Um, so what you'll find is probably the guide's guide who will maybe allocate the new guides. Uh, but as you go through your physical life here, you do get new guides apart from the doorkeeper minder that's with you all the time. They stand back, new teachers come in. On the earth plane, if you have teaching at school, you'll have different teachers for different years. As you progress, you will get different teachers. And that happens quite a lot. Often we can see guides standing near people, but they're standing far off because they know when it'll be the time to come in and work with you. So it's, it's not, they don't have to spin a bottle like we do here. Um, you will be drawn to your guide and when you meet all your guides in the spirit world, and you could see up to probably almost a dozen guides that worked around you during your lifetime. Um, um, but obviously there's a dedicated core that's with you all the time and a dedicated guide as well, a guardian angel, whatever you want to call them. So it's by level of attunement and it's also based upon your spiritual development. It will happen automatically here when you go back to what I call head office. You'll then sit down with your guides and it could be like you're sitting here and this is all the guides that have helped you on your earth time. Um, they say, oh, do you remember when you did this? And it's all a bit of fun, a bit of love and laughter. And, this, and, and they say, well, we think perhaps when you do your next lifetime, perhaps you know, we're going to get you to look at this and we're going to support you. And they do support you uh, quite a lot. And even as I'm talking, I can see people just standing just in, in, in front of the camera now. Strange enough, they, they, they won't come out on the camera now. But, um, so it's a natural process and it's done by someone who's more spiritually aware of the guides or every guide has a helper on their level so no one's left on their own. It can be um, a, a, like a pyramid shape of, of support from that. Good question because it happens quite automatically um, and even more on the um, spirit plane. Mm -hmm. Next question. Yeah, well, I always think about this. Um, do we keep the same personality with each reincarnation? Um, we are still who we are, but when we grow up in different circumstances, sometimes life can shape us in a slightly different way. So we don't come back totally not who we are. When you see your past lives, you will recognize your personality and maybe some of the traits that you had. But you do have to remember that sometimes you're going to come back female, sometimes you're going to come back male. Normally, uh, women are more spiritual than men because of the sixth sense, they're intuitive, they're based more on emotion, you should be. Men try to be logical and fail probably most of the time, but hopefully that balance works between the two. So you'll still be you, you would still recognise you if you saw your past lives. Yes, you, you, you wouldn't be happy on this life like you are and miserable on the next. No. So you would still be you would still recognise yourself going back in lives and if we captured this moment on a spiritual karmic level and showed you in 300 years from now you go, actually that's, I can see myself in that. Lovely question, good. Anyone else at all? Yes. Yeah, talking about past lives actually. Yes. How do you know when you've met someone from your past life? How do you know if you met someone from a previous life? Maybe yes. you've agreed to come back yes. and you might not come back as the same gender but you come back to share the pathway. Yeah. Um, Sometimes you won't always know, uh, and sometimes you can be a little bit chalk and cheese. Sometimes that can happen. Quite often you can come back as a group of souls who recognize each other or have that sensing. Um, or you can come back with your soulmate. But in some ways you have to be careful you don't come back with your soulmate every time because that bond could be so strong you would ignore everything else and it's just so unique and so wonderful and spiritual. And people do experience that, but if it happened every time, you wouldn't learn your life lessons because you're wrapped up together and you wouldn't exist outside of it. Some people can become soulmates because they've had so many years together as a couple maybe. Um, and, and that generates that level of trust. And, but obviously some of this is built over many different lifetimes. You won't always know. 
um, but it shouldn't be to the point that you don't get on with them. You, there should be a feeling that goes with that. Yeah. So there's no guarantee, but there is quite often soul groups do come back either as pairs, but in a different gender, a different situation, and a different place. But there is a, a reason why they do, and they're to help each other in that particular note. And you might not always meet them, as I just said, until later in your life. Sometimes they come in at a certain time. How I joke with the old programs. And tonight, Matthew, when someone else comes through the curtain, um, that person is meant to be with you at that particular time in your life as well. So some of the karma is, is meant to be. It's not my own, we all see it. We have a question. What was the other one? How do you know that you've learned your lesson? It's time to move on. Well, if you're talking about how do we know we've learned our lessons in life, we've got nothing else to do in life, and what am I doing here sort of approach, um, you won't know that until you get to the other side and they go through it with you. You should have a good feeling, and the feeling being, someone's just saying, if um, you feel totally comfortable with yourself, you feel totally empowered with yourself, you still love people, you're not isolated, um, then you know you're doing things right, so you're not fighting yourself on a karmic level. Okay? Um, and I think as you all go through in life, as we get older, we learn uh, by experience. Hindsight teaches us certain things that we, it's good for us and not good for us, and we start to walk more on our pathway as we get older. Um, and we're all children, uh, even though we're adult children, but sometimes the adults are still children at the wrong age. They haven't quite found themselves and they don't learn their lessons. So they'll keep coming back until they do. Sometimes that can happen with relationships as well. A different profiling is required for that. So don't worry about, I wonder how I've done it. It's not a test. You'll never get told off for doing the wrong thing. Every pathway is correct, no matter what you do, because you'll always come back to the right pathway. Sometimes we've got to go off the pathway to come on it. To fully appreciate it. There are different things that will happen for yourself that providing you are a bit like the TIS, trust in service, trust in self, trust in spirit. If you do your best for yourself and you create good karma, then you're walking your spiritual pathway. You do not have to worry that someone's ticking your list and going, good girl, good girl, five out of ten, four out of ten, all the rest. That's happened automatically. Yeah, keep going forward. Good questions. Yes. I have a question about some experiences being having so, yes. So no prompting by me whatsoever. Total strangers are just opening up and telling me in their life story. Are you saying why does this happen? Why are people attracted to you all so, of a sudden? Yeah. But it's not what you say; it's what you don't say, and that's for all of us. It's your spiritual vibration is causing that effect. It's a cause and effect. Okay. You don't have to say anything. It's your natural spiritual energy, and as your pathway changes, your aura gets bigger and, and just draws people to them, and they'll talk to you because they feel comfortable with you. You, you create that calmness and, and, and that support that people desperately need in life. I think we're right there on the